God just raised a baby yes, Lord. from the dead. Oh, That's the baby right there. Yes. yes. Father called us. And we were having a meeting and said, Minister, the baby is dead. He's on the phone for live right now. Pray. And we call on heaven. And God raised the baby. Pastor Jennings sent me here by God's permission. God allow that to happen. You so called reverends, Amen. you so called pastors, yeah. bishops, apostles, elders, evangelists, prophets, I don't care what you call yourself. That's right. You are nothing but a disgrace to church. That's right. Watch how a dead baby comes back to life after the junior pastor of Pastor Jino Jennings, who is equally the presiding pastor over the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ in Texas was called in by a brother who equally fellowship with them on the phone that his baby just passed on they stood together on the phone and they prayed as they were having fellowship with their brethren and to god be the glory the baby came back to life watch this and be encouraged that god is indeed with the first church of our lord jesus christ god just raised a baby from the dead. Here in Texas. Yes. The Father is on the phone now. Yes. Father, call us. We were here. That's the baby right there. Yes. Father, call us. And we were having a meeting and said, Minister, the baby's dead. He's on the phone for live right now. Pray. Yes. And we call on heaven. Yes. And God raised the baby. Yes. God is with us. Pastor Jennings sent me here by God's permission. Amen. Yes, Lord. No, God allow that to happen. No, sir. God has been filling people with the Holy Ghost. Mother, healing the body. Now God raised the dead. Come on. Yes, Come on. Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. While we were praying, the Lord tell me, ask him, where's the baby? He said, Minister, the baby is crying. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful. Lord, Let's Thank not you. doubt the Jesus. power of God no. in the church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the truth. Yes. Yes. This is the way. Yes. Yes. Jesus is the light. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Come over here. My Lord, my God. God Almighty. Yes, Lord. Let's continue. Yes. 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 To believe God. Yes. 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 That's right. That's right. Who to hear me preach this? Yes. Didn't I tell you? Yes. That God go raise dead? Yes. And he did it now. He did it. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord if it's not the plan, God. Change the plan. Yes. Uh, Arthur, mm. Jesus is here. Yes. I say to everybody, we got no reason to doubt. No. Our faith is so turned up, it got no more volume to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Completely. Oh, okay. My God, this is a miracle. Yes. And we go rejoice in the Lord. Yes. 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 I, asked, I told him, it came in my mind, name the baby Faith. He said, Minister, the baby named Ariana, which means faith. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All of you that don't have the Holy Ghost. Believe God. Yes. 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 Don't worry about that. God just an opportunity. Yes. 
for him to manifest his glory. I tell you that not everything that is in your life is here to destroy you. Sorry, I'm not ashamed. But God gave us an opportunity to showcase his power. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. First, turn on Lord Jesus Christ alive and well. God is alive and well. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank the mighty God of Abraham. Hello. God raised the dead today. Yes. the Lord for what the Lord is doing. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Peace. Amen. Until next time. Yes. It is encouraging to see and to hear that God is still in the healing business. That God is still touching life. God is still performing signs and wonders. And that God is still showing how magnificent, how all-powerful and wonderful He is. In Uzziah 12, 13, the Bible said, By the hand of a prophet, the Lord preserved them. These are miracles that encourages us that if anybody is still in need of miracle, if anybody is still in, in a situation expecting God to come through, this should encourage them that the same God who is performing signs and wonders in the lives of many other people would equally come through for you. Of course, we live in times and generation where to receive a miracle or miracles are almost becoming weird to today believers because it is not something common. It is not something that happens on daily basis. It is not something that many people witness even as they walk with the Lord. It is not something that many people have witnessed or have seen. And so if people begin to witness miracles and signs and wonders in the life of other people, even as they serve God, it encourages them that God is still alive, number one. Number two, God is still in the healing business. And number three, God is capable of solving their own situations for them. Because this is an evidence that again, God is with his messenger. That is Pastor Gino Genis, And that God is committed to doing his part of the mission. That once a man responds to the voice of God, and is willing to move accordingly as the Holy Ghost would have him go, then the blessings, the miracles, and the power of God will continuously be in an action. That is exactly how it's supposed to be. Because, listen, you and I know the ministry of First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have witnessed the life of Pastor Genogenes and I've seen how God has been merciful to him and how that God is using him to lift nations, using him to empower believers and using him to empower Christians who have become a slave to their own kinds and types of sins. Through the sermons of Pastor Genogenes, many people are getting delivered. And many people are seeing God through his life. And so it's a blessing. But aside that, when you witness what is going on in his ministry, it is equally God speaking to us that once there is a man to obey, God will move. And that is exactly what happened here. We thank God for such a miracle. We thank God for what God is doing in the lives of even in the branches and within the assemblies of the first church of our lord jesus christ we thank god for what is going on but at the 
end of everything, be inspired, be encouraged, and trust in God that whatever might be your situation, whatever might be your problem, God is capable of responding. God is capable of coming through. God is capable of turning things around. The same God that through the minister raised the baby, the same God would raise your life no matter what. Believe in God, have hope, be encouraged and serve God with all your heart, your soul and your mind and God will come true. Miracles in our today Christianity is almost as something that is impossible. Miracles in our today's Christianity is almost like something that many people do not hear. So if it happens like this, we have to equally publish it and lift the name of the Lord. That this is what the Lord has done and it should be publicized. It should be talking about and it should be something that people should get to know. Be informed that these are the things the Lord is doing in the branches, in the assemblies of the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for his servant, Pastor Genogenes. We thank God for his personal life, his family, his children, and how that he has responded to the work of God. He has made many, many enemies for himself because of the kind of gospel this man is preaching. And you and I will bear witness to this, that when a man decides to preach unadulterated gospel, uncompromised gospel, a gospel that is not diluted, or a gospel that is not twisted, or a gospel that is not compromised, it comes with price. It comes with its own kind of temptations. It comes with its own kind of grace. And so far, he's been one of the few among many mega preachers who continuously insist that Christians should walk accordingly with scripture he's the only preacher that continuously preach that christians must go in a biblical way and so you understand that when a minister ministers the gospel and ministers it well it comes with price it comes with temptations it comes with many things so sometimes he will be attacked so sometimes he will be he will be threatened and sometimes you would have to go through many things because he's been faithful to the scriptures and preaching the bible exactly as it's supposed to be and once a person decides to minister that way it comes with so much price if you study even the lives of the apostles you study the lives of the disciples the things they went through even for the gospel to be heard they went through a lot and these are some of the sacrifices that in these days a preacher would equally go through because we live in times where you and i can bear witness that the the level of christianity the fire level and the spiritual um sensi sensitivity level of christianity today is not as much as harder or is not as much as deep as it used to be some times ago and so we live in a days where people who call themselves homosexuals people who are, who are homosexuals claim to be christians people who are drunkards claim to be christians people who are prostitute who people who are prostitutes claim to be christians People who are armed robbers claim to be Christians, whether armed robbers on the altar or on the pulpit, claiming to be pastors, apostles, prophets, and so on. Many people do these things to claim, just to claim that uh, they do these things and still claim to be Christians. And so it's 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 some way. But be encouraged and serve the Lord and continuously give your best for the things of god i believe there is a reward for everything we do and i believe god will come through for those that diligently those that diligently those that diligently serve the lord there is always a reward 
and whatever is your situation let this video encourage you take heart of this video take heart from this video be encouraged love the lord and continuously have continuously have hope that if you are expecting god to come through for you in a place of healing you are expecting god to come through for you in a place of business in a place of marriage in a place of childbearing in a place of traveling messes in a place of opportunities or whatever so be it let god come through for you and be encouraged that god is still in the healing business and the same god that did through the minister will equally sort you out when the time is right remember that the bible says that when the time is right the lord will make all things beautiful see you again in our next episode and stay always blessed and anointed